Washington on Tuesday, February 7, when Parliament resumed from its Christmas break. The new changes as a result of the minority leadership reshuffle made some new reallocations of seats to Haruna Idrisu, Muntaka Mubarak, and James Kluchea Veji. Haruna Idrisu, who on the resumption of the House made a brief appearance in Parliament but left thereafter, reportedly rejecting the seat allocated to him by the clerks of Parliament. This he confirmed on Thursday. Mr. Speaker, forgive me that I have to assume your chair. There was whether I should take over from Honorable Collins Dowder or not. And I've told them that Honorable Collins Dowder is senior by age, senior even to this house. I would not fit into his, uh, his, his chair as somebody who is well trained from home. After the rejection of the new seat, the new New minority leadership offered him a seat behind the current minority leader, which used to be occupied by Rashid Pelpo, which he accepted, evidently seen as speaker. Alban Bagby was chairing proceedings. I'm grateful, Mr. Speaker, for the opportunity to second the motion. Mr. Speaker, the NAMI convention moments thereafter before making the infamous lamentation he moved from the newly allocated seat and headed towards the deputy speaker's seat to contribute to a foreign affairs report so any other chair mr speaker the minority chief whip and the deputy majority leader had to approach him to seek a resolution to what appeared to be a surprise to the new minority leadership to many the former minority leader clearly crossed the aisle in what have been described as crossing the carpet crossing the the variable which is like the litmus test in drawing the conclusion on this is the intention check the law it's about the intention there was no intention to cross carpet so ab issue is dismissed and you have to dismiss that Meanwhile, Muntaka Mubarak occupied his newly allocated seat without any hesitation. Komla Kluge, TV3 News, Accra.